Women shall no longer wait for timid men to fight for the liberation of Uganda. We pack missiles in our pens and grenades in our mouths and shoot our troops at the dictatorship. Stella Nyanzi can finally breathe. After years of political persecution in her native Uganda, the human rights activist has found a home in Germany as a fellow for the Penn Writers Association. What needs to be said to dictatorships can be said, and nobody will kill me. My body won't be beaten down, and that is what freedom means. Stella Nyanzi is a fierce critic of Ugandan President Yoweri Museveni, who has ruled the East African nation for 35 years. After an arrest in 2017 for condemning Museveni's failed promise to deliver free feminine hygiene products, she compared Museveni to a pair of buttocks on social media. When dealing for the first time with repressive, militant, brutal dictatorships, one might be innocent, and we are allowed to be innocent and naive, but the first engagement of brutality from, from the state quickly sharpens a person. The arrest galvanized Stella to fight for freedom of speech, women's rights, and minorities. Her writings sharply criticized Museveni. A poem containing a wish for Museveni never to have been born landed her in maximum security detention for 16 months. Today, in spite of all the pain and the torture that I had to endure in prison, I celebrate, I celebrate having been locked up because for the first time in the history of Uganda, a woman was able to turn penalization turn criminalization on its head and use the courts of law and the prison system to speak truth to power and shame and embarrass and expose the government. Stella Nyanzi was pregnant when she was in prison. The torture and beating she endured caused her to lose her unborn child. She left Uganda in 2022. Some accused her of abandoning the country's human rights struggle, which the 47-year-old strongly denies. Now based in Munich with her children, Stella Nyanzi believes a brighter, freer future for the younger generation is worth fighting for.